So we just put ourselves up in ninth best in the league just in one offseason there. But we, we spent a lot of trades. Okay. We have no win no wins for our starting pitchers right now. Yeah, Gieselman's got the one win. I think it's our bullpen that's giving this up. Ten and eighteen. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Joe Blanton? Oh. 
Go for triple A. A double What's what's our We'll send Rosario down to triple A. I might move Champion and Jensen up to the bullpen. I move Castro down. Yeah, I think that's a good deal. Might need another catcher up at the majors as well. Nothing at triple A. Mm -hmm. 
Hunter Pence only plays the outfield. Hannah Ramirez can't either. He bet pretty decent last year. Um... I wonder if it'll allow me just the auto fix and just auto populate. Let's see. Opening day is behind us, so let's look back so at how the first wins, games of the year played out on the diamond. One. Starting in the AL East, the Yankees took... Vargas does get the win there. Bunty, of course, loses. Dieselman does win that. What? Okay, that made it a bit more easier to deal with. You know what? I will move you to MLB with it.
Both of our rookies are going to come up here. Triple A. Need another outfielder. Two pitchers. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. I feel like I need two more pitchers. I need three more pitchers. Okay, I feel like we're good now. Let's, let's pull in. Triple A. Okay. Okay, this is good. Outfielder, two infielders,
the hell? Why they come in is MLB, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Next time I will actually get as many as we need. Okay, the guy we got from the draft portion, and we also got a scout. Catcher. Um, let's look at the second. Good giant Ventura. All right. Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Starting in the AL East, the Blue Jays stopped their six-game losing streak as they took down the Red Sox on the road 5 to nothing. The Mariners only allowed two hits in the game as they beat the visiting Rays 3 to 1. The Detroit Tigers beat the White Sox on the south side 2 to 1. The Texas Rangers got 11 hits overall as they got the best of the Dodgers at home 5-2. They now have six straight victories. The Houston Astros combined for 10 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Angels. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Justin Allegri, and this is your Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Looking first at the American League East, the Boston Red Sox got 12 hits in this one as they blew out Baltimore 9-2. to two. The Tampa Bay Rays sent three balls into the seats as they beat the Blue Jays in Toronto 7-3. The Twins launched three home runs as they defeated the visiting Yankees 6-5. The White Sox picked up 14 hits in total as they bested the visiting Indians 9-3. The Tigers combined to allow only four hits as they grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics 8-2. The Kansas City Royals were winners over huh. the visiting Rangers 5-4.
Ooh. The Astros swung it well with 15 good. hits in the game as they sank the Mariners 11 to 2. The win was their sixth straight as a team. The Braves totaled Amor's 13 hits as base. a team as they pulled away from the Nationals 8 2. Ender Inciarte had three hits on the day, leading Philadelphia to victory over the Marlins 3 to 2. The Metropolitans combined for a four hitter as they nabbed the win against the visiting Cubs 3 0. The Pirates amassed 14 hits in the game as they grabbed the win against the visiting Reds, 7-5. The Arizona Diamondbacks combined to give up just five hits as they got the best of the Dodgers at home, 3-1. The Colorado Rockies knocked out 10 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Angels, 6-1. The Giants held the opposition at bay with only four hits as they grabbed a victory over the Padres at Petco Park, 6-1. And that'll do it for today. Enjoy the games, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting in the AL East, the Red Sox brought out the rooms in a three-game sweep as they beat the O's in Baltimore 12-3. It was their fifth straight victory. The Cleveland Indians grabbed 13 hits in the game as they beat the White Sox on the south side 8-7. Miguel Cabrera swung the bat well with three hits as the Tigers were victorious over the Astros 3-2. The Minnesota Twins put up 16 hits on the day as they dethroned the Royals 8-1. The Marlins broke up their five-game losing skid as they took down the visiting Diamondbacks 5-3. Gregory Polanco had three hits in the game, driving in three, as the Pirates got a win over the Cubs 4-3. The Milwaukee Brewers put together 10 total hits as they beat the Cardinals on the road 4-1. The Dodgers bested the visiting Padres 3-1. And that's the show. Thanks for listening in. I'll be back tomorrow with more news and updates from around the majors. Mm. Our pitching is just not doing it right now. Huh.
We really need to look at pitching. Good Thursday morning to you, Show Nation. Let's jump right into Wednesday's baseball action. Starting in the AL East, the Baltimore Orioles went deep four times as they destroyed the Rays 14-3. to The Boston Red Sox totaled 13 hits as a team as they grabbed the win against the visiting Royals 8-7. to The Toronto Blue Jays totaled 11 hits as they defeated the visiting Yankees 7-4. Michael Waka earned the win his fourth this We're season this the Cardinals get, get away by the from us right now. Four to three. The Cincinnati Reds. Welcome to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Looking first at the American League East, the Orioles hit three long balls as they defeated the visiting Tigers 9-8. to The Indians combined to allow only four hits as they defeated the visiting Yankees 2 to nothing. They now have five straight wins. The Royals allowed only five hits in the game as they beat the visiting Rays 3-2. The Rangers combined for a four-hitter as they beat the visiting Red Sox 2-1. to one. Chris Sale took the loss in this one despite racking right up Right now, it's literally... The, the Houston Astros allowed only five hits as a staff as they took down the visiting Blue Jays 2-1. to one. Jose Aviles drove in three, leading the Mariners to a victory over the White Sox 6-3. to three. Bruce Maxwell had a home run and three RBIs as Oakland pushed past the Angels 4-3. to three. The Atlanta Braves knocked out 12 hits as a team as they got the best of the visiting Mets, 7-3. The Miami Marlins got the best of the Brewers at home, 5-3. The Philadelphia Phillies combined for four total home runs as they took down the Nationals in Washington, 5-2. Scooter Jeanette was fantastic at the plate collecting five hits, helping the Reds down the Cubs, 4-1. The Twins set three balls into the seats as they defeated the Pirates at PNC Park, 7-3. Marco Estrada earned the third W of his season as the Cardinals downed Arizona 3-1. Clayton Kershaw won the game, finishing a complete game one-hitter as the Dodgers were winners over the Padres 3-0. The Rockies picked up 14 hits in total as they got the win over the Giants in San Francisco 7-2. And that's what's going on around baseball heading into today's action. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from around Major League Baseball. See what we can get for Dylan Bundy. He's just not doing it right now. Not at all. Ooh, Belisantes and Soria. That's good. I'll take that. I'm sorry, Givens. Givens just looks too good over here.
Um, So any prospects we can trade? might give me some uh something I need relief pitching Huh. I just don't think I'm going to be able to get anything. We're 10 games behind Boston right now. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Wednesday. Starting in the AL East, Randall Gritchick made history by well, hitting five games the cycle, behind helping the Orioles the defeat the Tigers 5-2. J.D. Martinez going to the Indians. Brantley and Edmund and Carcion go to the Red Sox. That's dangerous. Bay Sox are a game behind. Ties are not doing very good either. <laughs> 